G'day everyone, Troy from Troy's Funko Pops here. Today we're going to have a little chat about some fake pops. Uh, I know there's a lot out there, but what disturbs me is the fact that the, even the cheap ones can be faked. Um, I bought, purchased one for my wife. Um, that's a Groot on eBay. Um, I think it was, I think it was fifteen dollars plus nine dollars shipping. So it, it's just a reasonable price for a, a cheap, common secondhand pop, um, just for her to put in her collection. When it arrived, I looked at it and I thought, well, "There's something wrong with this one." So I went back to eBay and I started looking at others with the same number and everything like that, and. I come to the conclusion that my, in my opinion, it was completely fake. So I did order another one uh, from a shop. We got that in and completely different. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about these ones today. Um, I'll turn these spinners on, you can have a look. Uh, see if you can figure out which one's the real one and which one's not. Uh, I'll give you a few seconds to look at those guys. It just it's just disturbing that people go to so much trouble to fake a Funko Pop. Like, there's no point. All it does is costs everyone money. It's ridiculous. So, even the cheap ones, they can be faked. Um, I haven't actually seen any fake ones in shops. But then again, it, it, it is really hard to tell a fake from a real one unless you've got them both side by side like this so today we're going to look at these two um, we'll have a little look at these now here they are here and some of the first things you notice is the colors uh, the color on the number the color on the box everything's a lot darker on the fake one so this is the fake one. The other one is real. Um, one of the other things that stood out, there's no Marvel written on the fake one. So it is a Marvel character and it, it does not have Marvel written on it. There's a lot of fake pops out there. If, if you come across a pop, you think it's cheap. You think, oh, I like this save it open in another window and start comparing other pops of that number to the one you're looking at um, it's not always going to be easy a few little tips that i have especially when on ebay for starters look at all the different pictures of that particular pop that you're buying from that seller make sure the background is the same in every picture make sure they don't have green carpet and then white carpet and then red carpet in a picture that that just draws flags to me saying that they've probably googled these images uh, that's not hard to do there's all sorts of things all my photos when i sell on ebay everything is in the same spot all my stuff will have the same background pictures we don't differ from anything so i'll spin these to the side again you can see there's clear differences in the box color um, even on the back, again, there's no Marvel. Colors are different. Um, there's bigger borders on the front of the fake one, um, around the logo, around the number, everything like that. Even on this side, there's still no Marvel in the pop bubble. I, I just don't understand why they would do it, but they do. So we spin again and look at the tops. And you see the fake one's a lot darker um, as a background color. The real one's a little bit lighter. If we spin and look at the bottom, you guys are gonna see a lot of differences here. So it's missing a lot of info from the bottom of the box. Again, this one's the fake. You can see how all the info has changed. So they haven't copied that 
well, not even close. It doesn't even have the serial number or anything stamped into it. No sticker, no anything. So, I don't normally open pops, but we're going to open it. We'll get it out. We'll have a little look at it. So there's your fake. Versus the real. Both bobbleheads. You see this one's necks a lot higher, a lot longer, a lot darker in color. This has got the standard color. It looks pretty good. We'll give them a little spin so you can see the difference between the two of them. They've gone to a lot of effort to fake a cheap common pop. Um, I don't understand why you would do it. There's a lot of similarities, but if you look around the eyes on the fake one, we haven't got that shading that you do around the real one. We'll have a look a little look at the bases. Let's see all the information there. Uh, it's just quite disturbing. But again, just, just do your research when you're buying pops. Um, don't just go, oh, quick, buy it. Stop, take a minute, go through a heap of other people's listings. Um, see better pictures of the pop. Compare the colours on the boxes. I know it's hard from picture to picture. Uh, but there's always differences in fake pops and real pops. Uh, you've just got to be vigilant. And if you're not sure, don't buy it. Don't, don't waste your time. Check the person's feedback. Um, just, yeah, do, do as much research as you can. Um, even Google videos like this one, um, which point out the difference in the group boxes main points being the marvel the colors um, the borders are a lot thicker around the top of the box than the real one i just don't understand why they go to so much trouble i, I could only assume that it had cost the same amount for them to make it as what they're going to sell it for um, if they can do it on a cheap common pop they can do it on any pop so once again Beware, guys. Check out my eBay store. Uh, link should be below this video. Uh, we've got heaps of pops. If you have any problems with anything, just let me know. Um, if you want to hear anything else, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. And, yeah, thanks for having a look at my fake pop versus my real pop. All right. See you guys.